president believes uh, strongly that we were that he was elected to make progress on issues uh, that had confounded and vexed uh, Congress and the political system for years, health care being one of the bigger ones. I do believe the president believes that uh, uh, an up or down vote is, uh, is necessary. When they say up or down vote, they mean that Republicans should stop filibustering health reform, let it pass or fail with an up or down majority vote. And everybody knows that's not going to happen. So Democrats have a plan to get around that problem by getting the last remaining tweaks to the bill passed using reconciliation rules. That means those tweaks would pass with a simple majority in the Senate and a bill would get to the president's desk. This is it. It's gonna happen. It took them a year, but they have finally come around to recognizing that there are no Republican votes for health reform, so they're going to pass health reform without Republicans. It's done. It's going to happen. Ambiguity over. Everybody freak out! And it would be a political kamikaze mission for the Democratic Party if they jam this through after the American people have been saying, Look, we're trying to tell you in every way we know how, in elections, in surveys, in town hall meetings, we don't want this bill. It would really be the end of the United States Senate as a protector of minority rights. Senator Lamar Alexander talking about reconciliation as if it's the end of the world. Warning of the apocalypse that will be brought down upon the Senate if it is used now. It must be hard to argue with a straight face if you yourself have voted to use reconciliation over and over and over again like Lamar Alexander has. Like in 2003, when Lamar Alexander voted for the Bush tax cuts under reconciliation, or the two times that Lamar Alexander voted for reconciliation bills in 2005, or the time that Lamar Alexander did so in 2007. The very same reconciliation rules, which he now speaks so apocalyptically of. The Google one, Lamar Alexander zero. Joining Lamar Alexander and embarrassing himself on live television on this subject is Republican Senator and Sunday show more than regular John McCain. Senator McCain's big awkward lie down on the tracks to stop health reform came when he proposed changing Senate rules so reconciliation couldn't be used for anything involving entitlements. So for example, nothing that affected Medicare could pass as part of health reform. Entitlements should not be part of a reconciliation process, i.e. 51 votes, it's too important. You know, today's John McCain should really talk to the guy who used to call himself John McCain about that, because that other John McCain consistently votes to change entitlements through reconciliation votes. In 2005, the Senate used reconciliation to pass the Deficit Reduction Act by the slimmest of margins. The vice president at the time, Dick Cheney, was needed as the tie-breaking 51st, vo 51st vote. That bill, among other things, slashed spending for the entitlement known as Medicaid. Among those voting yes to change this entitlement? Republican Senator John McCain. In 1989, the Senate used reconciliation to pass the Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act of 1989. That legislation, among other things, overhauled the doctor payment system for the entitlement known as Medicare. Among those voting yes to change this entitlement? Republican Senator John McCain. But now Senator John McCain says entitlements should not be part of a reconciliation process. It's too important, he says. Senator McCain now proposing to outlaw something that he has done repeatedly. John McCain once again taking a strong stance against his own beliefs. Health reform is going to happen. Health reform is going to happen. It has passed the House. It has passed the Senate. They are going to bridge the gap between the two bills using reconciliation. Republicans can do nothing about it. They lost this one.